Now this is istighna of a person. This is highlighting people who will never benefit. So let's first talk about the universal value of this attitude. Man istighna. There are, I've met people like this actually even more recently. Muslims. Um, at one convention somebody came to me and said, why do I need Islam? Tell me what, what, what does it bring me in my life? I have a job. I have a family. I have health. I'm happy everything, everything that I do, I'm happy with. I go to sleep happy at night. I don't really see that I have a need for religion. I don't know why I need it. That, by definition, is istighna. I don't need it. I have everything already. As if you, your material needs and your emotional needs being fulfilled is enough for you. So let me try to answer that in a maybe a contemporary way. I haven't talked about this previously in this way, but I, I feel it's important enough that I highlight this for you. Hopefully this will help you inshallah in some other aspects of your life too. You can think of it from the Islamic point of view that we are, human beings are made up of three things. Okay? We're, we're a physical body, so we have physical needs. We are an emotional creature, so we have emotional needs. And we are a spiritual creature, and so we have spiritual needs. So there are three kinds of needs. Physical, emotional, and spiritual. These are all connected with each other. They're all intertwined with each other. I'll give you a simple example. If I didn't have lunch today, what need did I not fulfill? My physical need. Because I didn't have lunch, I'm cranky. What have I just messed up? My emotions. Because I'm cranky, when I prayed, I didn't concentrate. What did I just mess up? The spiritual. But the problem wasn't that I have no khushu'a in salah. The problem was I'm in a bad mood. But the reason I'm in a bad mood is because I didn't eat. So the physical can affect the emotional, and the emotional can affect the spiritual. They're all connected with each other. When somebody comes along and says, I have no need. And they say, I have no physical need, and I have no emotional need. What are they denying? That they actually have, in fact, spiritual needs, but they are blind to it. And you know, this, these three things are important to understand for every Muslim, because a lot of times you have an emotional problem. You have an emotional problem, and you're trying to find a spiritual solution. Or you have a physical problem, and you're trying to find a spiritual solution. Or you have a spiritual problem, and you're trying to find a physical solution. You have a stomach ache, which dua should I read? Uh, you have food poisoning, go get yourself checked in. <laughs> then make dua too. The spiritual only works if you understand that there are Allah, Allah created uh, laws and principles for all three of these. You know, there's, if, if you're in an abusive relationship, then it's not dua. You have to take care of the emotional abuse that's happening. And on top of that, there's dua. And by the way, what does the, what is the, the, the role of the spiritual? The role of the spiritual is that it, it guides your emotional needs and it guides your physical needs. So you don't let either one of them override the other and go in imbalance. That's what the role of our spiritual life is. You know? And so th when people come along and say they have no need, it's actually because they don't realize that there's something inside them, deep inside them that is hungry for spiritual fulfillment. They've just reduced themselves to nothing more than an animal. Amma man istaghna. As for the one who feels like he doesn't need, al-ghina ayil kifaya. I am already full. I don't need anything else. 